Hi there and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick video on my kids' favorite go-to snack. It is summertime, they are home all the time and they are always hungry. And they love fresh fruit and fresh vegetables and this is the perfect snack. It's healthy, it's light, and it's very inexpensive to make. So I'm going to show you guys a video of how I make it and then after that I will come back and I will tell you guys the cost that it was for me to make it this week. Thanks. Okay, so this is what I use for my version of ambrosia salad. Uh, two apples, two nectarines, two pears, two peaches, sometimes strawberries if I have them on hand. The ones I have are too ripe, so I'm not going to use them. Uh, whipped topping, this is a eight ounce container and I'll use the whole container. And then a half a bag of mini marshmallows. And then as you see, I just put it. This is one of each fruit cut up and half of the Cool Whip and then I will add in some marshmallows, add in the rest of the Cool Whip and the fruit and mix it all up and then I will show you guys once it is all done. Okay, here it is all mixed up. You can see the bowl is pretty full. It's a good size bowl. A little messy but this should probably last uh, three or four days knowing my kids. My husband also really likes this as well. It's pretty heavy. If you want, you can add the flavored marshmallows just because those have color so it just kind of makes it look a little bit brighter than being all white like I do but my family does not like those because they're flavored and they said that uh, the artificial flavors of those marshmallows um, contrast with the fruit flavors so they just prefer just the plain mini marshmallows. Okay, so that's how my family makes ambrosia salad. Right now, peaches and nectarines are in season, so they are about 69 cents a pound in my area. I bought um, four peaches, four nectarines, and it was about $2.60, and I only used two and two, so you've cut that in half, it's about $1.30. Apples and pears, I get for free with my kids' um, school lunches, so I didn't have to pay for those. If you have to go into the store and buy those, I would assume they're probably around a dollar to a dollar fifty a pound, and you only need two and two, so maybe add on another two two fifty to your total. Mini marshmallows, you guys can find those for under a dollar at most stores, Kroger, Walmart, Aldi, Target. Um, the ones that I bought from Target were on sale for seventy cents or seventy five cents, and then the whipped topping, just by the generic brand, under a dollar. I got those at Target for sixty nine cents. They had a sale. I bought ten, and I just put them in my freezer because I do make this a lot during the summer. So all in all, I paid under $5 and that made, like you saw, a big bowl. And then I also have half a bag of marshmallows for the next time. And um, I have the peaches and the nectarines for next time as well. Um, if you guys don't have access to fresh fruit or you guys have a lot of canned fruit um, from food banks like I get, um, you can also do it that way as well. When I grow up, my mom used to just um, drain two cans of the a fruit cocktail and she would just add that the marshmallows and the cool whip and that's how i grew up eating it i've tried to make it that way during the winter months when nectarines and peaches are not on sale and my kids do not like it i think they like the crunch of the fresh fruit versus um the canned fruit is more mushy and so they don't really like it that way so i don't really make it that way um the pears and the peaches that i usually get from the food banks i will drain them rinse them and then i freeze them and we put those in smoothies they go really great in smoothies and it's a great way to get some more fruit in for your kids so you guys can also try that as well so i hope you guys like this video i'm going to do a couple more videos like this if you guys have any suggestions on other video type that you would like to see please comment down below please like and subscribe and i hope you